wears the pants in this marriage? We both wear them. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Her pants are just as good as mine. I love you. Hello, everyone. I'm Isis Romero, and welcome to Something Good, our show focused on the kind of stories that make you smile. And I'm Steve Spreester. As we live through history and see all sorts of things happening in our world, it's not always easy to keep things upbeat. But we assure you, there's plenty of good news to pass along from our Graham Media Group stations just like this one in cities across the country, from horse safaris to a school of rock, from pandemic I do's to a 91 year old being saved by social media. We have got it all for you. We're going to start things off in Roanoke, Virginia, where a lemonade stand stands for much more than a fresh drink. WSLS's Magdala Lusant has a story. This lemonade stand on Early Street and Rivermont Avenue is a family affair. Every summer, Lauren Polly, the oldest, her younger sister, London, and little brother, Ace, sell lemonade along Rivermont Avenue. For the first time this summer, the siblings are sending a new message, offering $1 lemonade for all shades. People just need, like, a safe space. like time and space to drink and some lemonade or enjoy themselves. Mother Nina Polly says she's always been open and honest with her kids about racial divide and the current protests surrounding George Floyd's death. It's not something that they're new to the conversation. Um, so by this point, you know, they're they're feeling the pain. Polly tells me she and her daughter, Lauren, were a part of the peaceful protest near 5th and Federal Streets last Sunday. But when things took a turn, she allowed her daughter to watch from a safe distance and explained why. She says this stand allows Lauren to protest in her own way. So we decided to do this. We had to have her to allow them to have a safe place um, to, for what's going on without being a part of the action, but still, you know, being able to have their voice there. Neighbors in the area are supporting the inclusive idea, including Lynchburg police officers who stopped by to get a taste. So it's awesome to see people outside and supporting the community and also sending a good message at the same time. I think that we see a lot of negative stuff on TV and for us to be on TV and showing like positive sides of the world is a great en encouragement for everybody. The Smiths. I was rushing in the house and, you know, you cut the alarm off. Live in a cul-de-sac in Oakleaf. But I had to use the restroom, so I, I, I guess I hit the cold the wrong way, but it went silent. His children, hey, Jordan, five. Janae, and Dallas, were outside playing when... The deputy, Ryan, I seen his car, it was pulling up, and I was wondering... To their surprise, the deputy was headed to their home. I was like, okay, what's going on here? And then he came and he said the alarm went off. Um, I guess they ADT tried to call the phone. Smith says Deputy Ryan was polite, professional, and understanding. But it was as he was leaving, something happened. It just touched me that I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. Deputy Ryan's interaction with Jordan, Janae, and Dallas. Smith says it compelled him to capture these moments. I lost it! A white law enforcement officer Stop playing me. basketball with black children. This is like really something that needs to be seen in these times, you know to put positive images of, you know, the, you know, our police officers, um, you know, in the community. The video Smith recorded has gone viral on social media. As a black man yes. and as a father to three young children, what did you feel in that moment? I felt a sense of pride, pr I mean, prideful. I felt uh, that as a black man, I shouldn't have my first thought about uh, police is negative that it can be positive and that it should be positive. Eight-year-old Jordan and his sister say those 10 minutes hanging out with Deputy Ryan were awesome. I was just playing basketball with him. When you watch the news with your dad and you see everything that's going on in the world, 
As an eight-year-old, are you afraid? No, I'm not afraid. I just think that it should, they should, it should, it should just stop. Right now, he's feel good about the police. He sees a positive image, image of a police officer. So I want him to have that same positive image when he's 18, 28, 38. The bounce forward, this family hopes will carry the world. <laughs> Our dad died uh, three times in the last 60 days, and he walked out alive today. It was surreal, because uh, all this started with what we thought was really bad allergies and a sinus infection, and then we thought it was bronchitis on his next hospital visit, and then on the third visit, it, it was what we all prayed it wasn't gonna be. And then, you know, the... The worst happened when we found out he was being intubated and put on a ventilator. His lungs had failed, his kidneys had failed. He was on dialysis, he was on a ventilator. He wasn't supposed to make it uh, at all. And they jump-started his body three different times and he's, he's here. And for him to beat this this virus and to come home is, uh, it's, it's just a blessing. I love you, bro. I love you, bro. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Ah, thank you, Snow. Hey, Dad. I love you. Like I told the, the nurses, this is not anymore a hospital. This is not anymore a rehab. This is a temple of God. What experience, eh? No, it's over. We get to go home now. <laughs> Just like the start finish line at Daytona International Speedway, <laughs> high school graduation marks an end and a beginning. Really excited. I'm really excited to start the next chapter of my life. And I'm happy we're doing something. The coronavirus pandemic preventing Flagler County Schools from hosting a typical graduation from Intanzas and Flagler Palm Coast High Schools. The superintendent says they still wanted to do something for the class of 2020. This class has been through a lot and uh, they've been through hurricanes in their earlier years of high school. And uh, I think th to give them a chance to all be together in one place, even though they're in their cars, is, is a special opportunity. <laughs> the district partnering with the Speedway to host the graduating seniors and their families for the special ceremony Sunday morning. More than 400 cars lined up along Pitt Road, many decorated with balloons and streamers. The graduates inside their vehicles wearing their cap and gown, getting their diplomas as they cross the finish line. It just means a lot to me because I've struggled and now I've finally made it. Class of 2020! <laughs> The graduates excited to come together one last time so proud of you. and make their mark. Here at this wonderful venue, it's just amazing that we get this opportunity. And it'll never happen again, so we're really making history. Yeah. Yeah. A celebration 70 years in the making. Here in Sunnyside Wednesday evening, members of the Houston Fire Department, <laughs> along with family, friends, and neighbors, paraded by the home of Lionel and Grace Ann Russell for a surprise celebration of their 70th wedding anniversary. June the 3rd, 1950, was perhaps the happiest day of my life when I married this woman. She was a prize. They began their marriage with Mr. Russell serving as an air mechanic in the Air Force. It's a union that has produced six children, 12 grandchildren, and six great-grandkids. The secret to success? They credit prayer, their faith in God, and talking to each other. We have, just like everybody else, you have problems, but talk your problems out. Because that's the only way you can do, communicate. The couple has seen a lot over the years, inside their family and in this world. The Russell say their church and neighborhood also have played big roles in their joyful union. Who wears the pants in this marriage? We both wear them. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Her pants are just as good as mine. 
Sometimes it's better. <laughs> manifestation of everything I never had as a little girl. Yalitza Jean Charles is the CEO of Healthy Roots Dolls and this is Zoe. I started Healthy Roots Dolls while I was in an undergrad at the Rhode Island School of Design and it was born out of my own experiences growing up and the fact that I never had a doll that looked like me. And Zoe has more than just girl power. She's all about curl power with hair that you can wash in style just like your own hair so girls can learn to love their curls and she's the first of many products that we hope to make. So far, Zoe is a hit. <laughs> at a young age, you know, looking at TV and not seeing girls with beautiful box braids and cornrows and beautiful big curls, I didn't think that my hair was good hair. And you know, you hear those conversations amongst people where they say, like, you have your hair is ugly, or like, why does your hair look like oh, that? And look what's here. <laughs> For Yalitza, these images are beyond heartwarming. She loves the feeling of giving. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The first thing a lot of kids always say is like, she looks just like me, even though it's not a carbon copy, but because it's a variation of a product that they've never gotten to see before, where it, like it's supposed to resemble you in some way and you feel seen. With the national spotlight focused on race and race relations, Healthy Roots Dolls is a timely symbol of equality. Times being what they are, along with a viral tweet, has business booming. In the midst of all that you know, turmoil, seeing a positive product that is addressing the issue from a different side really gives people hope and, rec and helping them recognize the work that they can be doing at home in a small way. She said my body was locked up and I was seized and then fell over right there and that's where I lay. This is the true meaning of being a public servant. You were in the right place and everybody was in the right place. I owe him my life. I can't, I can't ever pay him back. their ceremony on Zoom. We put the, the computer basically up on the stage at, at the church with us. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you. Check out the Chevy Silverado. It's got more standard cargo volume than any competitor. Really? Look to your left. Come, check it out. That's a good looking truck. Oh my gosh, that's insane. That's a big bet. Get a total value of $6,500 on this Silverado Texas edition. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. We want to help you sleep better and save this summer at the Revive Sleep Center inside Living Spaces. For a limited time, you can get up to $400 off our Revive Amity Hybrid mattress and $400 off the Revive Crespi Eurotop mattress. Plus, get a $300 Living Spaces gift card when you purchase select sets. It's all about sleep and savings this summer only at the Revive Sleep Center inside Living Spaces. Living Spaces. We make USAA insurance for veterans like Liz and Mike, an Army family who's always at the ready. So when they got a little surprise, they didn't panic. They got a bigger car for their soon-to-be bigger family. After shopping around for insurance, they called USAA, who helped find the right coverage for them and even some much-needed savings. That was the easy part. USAA insurance has made the way Liz and Mike need it. Easy. USAA. What you're made of, we're made for. Hi, I'm Ronnie Flatten. I'm CTO and owner of CT Integrations, and this is our story. The business was great. When the pandemic hit, we had a lot of uncertainty, but uh, with AMG's support, we were able to get through it. Being able to help somebody come out of a crisis is truly gratifying. We saved jobs. 15 jobs saved with their families, and that impacts a whole lot of people. We are really lucky and blessed to, to have that relationship.
Morganelli says she's never pictured herself behind a sewing machine for hours on end. We've got to flatten this curve, and the only way we're going to do it is by doing things that we don't want to do. But making masks is something that became her role during the pandemic after her great niece, who works in an assisted living facility, first asked for help. It just kind of snowballed from there. I, I realized how many people I knew that were in at risk groups. Morganelli, in fact, is in one of those at risk groups. Diagnosed with breast cancer last year, she's undergone six rounds of chemotherapy and was scheduled to have surgery this month. The hospital system that I'm being treated at. Um, doesn't really want to do surgery right now, and my doctors really don't want me in the hospital anyway. In the last two weeks, she says she's made hundreds of masks, receiving requests through Facebook, and is sending those masks all across North America. Come on, buddy. In turn, she's asked for nothing, but says people have sent gifts and donations, to which she's continued to pay it forward. I'm a cat lady, so I put it towards cat rescue. I was able to help pay medical bills for three rescue cats. She says the outpouring of love has renewed her faith that we will get through this together and says as long as there's a need, she'll continue to do her part. You know, I don't know of a time when I felt more useful, and that feels really good. That feels really good. It does. A couple of couples from the same school. Hi, I'm Quinn. And I'm Stephen. Hi, I'm Abby. Hi, I'm Cody. Engaged to be married within the same time period. We were supposed to get married on May 2nd. May 23rd of 2020. Found the same fate due to COVID-19. We decided it would be best for um, our family members to not have to travel for the sake of their safety. Both weddings were postponed, but each union was secured. Abby Wynn and Cody Roberts eloped walking down a different aisle two weeks before their original wedding date. It was just the two of us, our wedding officiant, um, our wedding planner, and our photographer. And everyone was in you know, gloves and masks, and um, our officiant signed our marriage license in a mask and gloves. After saying, I do, Woo! the two did as they'd usually do. We got Fortunato uh, takeout from downtown, and we came home and we changed out of our fancy clothes and got in our pajamas and watched the office. Stephen and Quinn Owen were also happy with their choice to move forward. We went ahead and moved that up to April 18th of this year. Committing their lives. We uh, really prize the uh, idea of a marriage over a ceremony or a wedding. While letting go of the initial celebration, which they say can distract from the meaning behind all that follows. Which is a little bit potentially countercultural based on the current wedding culture, uh, which is mostly about the ceremony, the money spent and the flowers. Over 100 people watch their ceremony on Zoom. We put the, the computer basically up on the stage at, mm -hmm. at the church with us. Participating in unconventional, yet fitting ways. People dressed up, some people were toasting to us. It was a lot of fun to see that. Yeah, one of our favorite backgrounds was a pure toilet paper background, so. It was a sea of yellow shirts, masks, and gloves throughout area gas stations this week. Healthcare workers were met with a surprise when they went to buy gas. Not only was it on the house, it came full service. Courtesy of Elevate Life Church, Tim Steyer is the lead pastor. The most enjoyable thing is when, when people just don't expect it and you're able to show gratitude and just say thank you. Steyer says the idea came about as a way to honor those working every day in the fight against COVID-19. Steyer says at his church, he's heard the concerns directly from those on the front lines. So they're concerned about their families. Uh, and, and so, yeah, they've, they've reached out. We've, we've obviously been, you know, our, our requests for prayer and things like that are at an all-time, I think, an all-time high. With the free gas came a bit of nostalgia. The volunteers did the pumping, just like they did back in the day. My kids don't even know that that was a thing. I, don't, I hardly remember that being a thing. 
with something so simple the hope is to bring a smile, even if it's a covered one. Furthermore, Stayer's mission in sharing this story is to inspire others to show gratitude, especially in times of need. I think it's really important that during a time like this, that we, when we see the things that we appreciate, the people who are leading the way and, and doing great things, that we take the time just to say thank you. Potatoes, celery, apples, all here, and we're just uh, thankful that we can be able to serve probably somewhere between 15, 1700 families. All our guys are here. Everybody say hello. Everybody, hey, they're all here. John hatched a plan. During isolation, the kids would practice in their own homes, on their own, record their part on a cell phone. Then John and his team would extract the audio and create an album. America, we want to help get you back to it. And here's how, with the Ford Promise. Visit your Ford dealer. Finance a new, certified, pre-owned, or used vehicle through Ford Credit. And if you lose your job, you can return it for up to one year from the day you bought it. You can also get 0% APR financing for 72 months across the Ford lineup. Let us help get you back to it. Drive F-150 with 0% for 72 months or up to 10165 total savings. Contact your best in Texas Ford dealer today. The University of the Incarnate Word is waiting for you. At UIW, we're proud to offer small learning environments with an average class size of just 14 students. UIW has a successful history of more than 20 years of online learning and a dedicated community of cardinals. So whether you're on campus or learning from home, UIW will be here for you every step of the journey. Apply today for fall 2020 at uiw.edu slash admissions. At Champion AC, our team is here to protect your family, home, and your comfort. To protect you from high energy bills. To protect you from system breakdowns. To protect your time by answering your questions around your schedule. To protect you from overpaying for comfort. It's the Champion Way. It's the Champion Way. It's the Champion Way. Call us today at 504-5555 or visit championac.com. Has your roof suffered extensive damage from the recent storms? Let the certified experts at Radiant Roofing get your home back in order. Call today and we'll give your home's roof an inspection and give you an estimate free of charge. Offering unprecedented 50-year labor and materials warranties and 0% financing for 12 months. With Radiant Roofing, you're guaranteed quality, honesty, and integrity. Call the experts at Radiant Roofing today. We'll keep the roof over your head. kids lost their school interactions, then all the other activities kind of started to fall away too. That's John Kozicki, owner of Michigan Rock School in Milford. Students age eight through adult go there because they love to rock. ACDC, Green Day, and of course, the White Stripes are, are really popular here, and Jack White. During a normal year, these young musicians practice together, play together, every four months perform together, giving a concert for friends and family. The, the whole spirit of everything it, that we do here is about community and, you know, the students performing together and the parents coming together. So we've got a pretty close-knit um, group of musicians and families. John hatched a plan. During isolation, the kids would practice in their own homes on their own, record their part on a cell phone. Then John and his team would extract the audio and create an album. The kids were excited about it because that meant that they could still even virtually have that... Uh, that weekly band rehearsal and that weekly band interaction with the friends. But to create a 10 song album with over 40 young musicians without anyone actually in contact with each other, that was ambitious. 
more likely impossible. There was that voice in the back of my head. I did my best to ignore it. And this is what we do with, with our students, too. We said, well, this is our goal. This is what we want to do. And we took small steps and navigated our way through it until we finished. Some of San Antonio's most skilled young musicians make up the youth orchestra of San Antonio Philharmonic and perform at a professional level. And they're just, they're just so intense. They push everyone to their absolute limits in terms of like technicality, working on their musical expressiveness and taste. Javier Hernandez plays the bass, and his command over the string instrument, as well as through private lessons, have put him as first chair of his section. Whenever I play that sort of music, I just envision like the great composers and the great music and the great orchestras of the past, and I feel like this is history, but being presented to you in a live form, an art form, right in the moment. I'll be studying at the Jacob School of Music in Indiana University. It's one of the top music conservatories in the nation with six major orchestras. He thinks the chamber orchestra at St. Mary's Hall for his success in music, as well as his family's support. Sometime down in the future, I would come back to San Antonio and present my art back to this city because this city has given so much to me. For Luella Davis, and it floods this way. home is where the heart is. My husband, this is his dream. They wanted to put me in this home. But in 2016, he passed away. He was the love of her life. His name is Alfred James Davis. But the home was never finished. The contractor they paid, she says, left. Neil's attorney. But she kept faith. Okay. And she says it's no accident she crossed paths with Belinda Orsborn. Hey, big guy! Hey. This stranger turned friend was hers. There was just so much negativity going on, and, you know, I just had such a heavy heart. And then pops up the story about Brian, how he's out in our city in the middle of the night cleaning up the graffiti. Learning his city was damaged. Yeah, I got a little small business, you know, a pressure washer, so decided to go down there and uh, do my part. It was just how he did it. You know, he did it with such a kind heart. Orsborn knew. Determined to find him and just do something nice for him and his family. Finally, right before we were about to hang up, he said, you know, you can help me help my neighbor. And that's when he told me about Luella. They're now organizing. Every American, come out and pour out your heart and let's get this house built. For Luella, today would have been her and her husband's 49th anniversary. And she says this blessing isn't an accident, too. I'm really blessed, and it's just looks like just God is just working in this. When Deputy Trout pulled up to his house, Forsman wasn't just lying face down, he was dead. No pulse, no breathing. I'd left this earth, there was no pain. Once a year, the 4th of July at Northside Ford. Celebrate real savings on the number one truck in America. The 2020 F-150, now with 13000 off MSRP. Or get zero interest for 72 months. Enjoy a roomy, checked out new 2020 Ford Explorer. Now with 7500 off MSRP. Plus 0% for 60 months while they last. Remember, we'll beat any new Ford deal in Texas. Or we'll give you $1,000. Celebrate savings now during the 4th of July at Northside Ford. How does apartments do? Com have the most listings? That's because we're willing to scout them out no matter how far away. Anything to report? Nothing. Exactly like the last 983 days. Apartments.com, the most popular place to find a place. Frizzy, unruly hair? You need a hair smoother. Get Fructi Sleek and Shine with Moroccan Argan Oil. Hair is super sleek, even in 97% humidity. No parabens. Fructi Sleek and Shine by Garnier, naturally. At Living Spaces, we offer reclining designs for everyone and every style. Whether you go light and sophisticated in a modern space or go dark and cozy in a casual space, the possibilities for stretching out and enjoying yourself are endless. We even offer free next day shipping with minimal contact. So come find a living room you love at a price you'll love in the Life in Motion collection. 
only at Living Spaces. Living Spaces. During these tough times, we could all use a little fellowship. Mahindra dealers are with you, right in your communities. Visit whymahindra.com and build your tough tractor. Your Mahindra dealer will give you a quote and deliver to your land. Mahindra, the official tractor of tough. Get special savings now during Mahindra's summer sale. Bill's tractor is here for you. Build your own package deal today. Handcrafted pizza on Domade Fresh Daily and all the best games. Peter Piper Pizza is committed to making family fun easy and safe. That's why we check our employees' temperatures before every shift and wear masks and gloves at all times. It's why we installed sanitation stations and why our sanitation specialists use enhanced cleaning procedures to disinfect our restaurants with state-of-the-art sanitizing equipment. Family fun with a commitment to your safety. That's what you'll find at Peter Piper Pizza. Pizza made fresh. Families made happy. One word that we need right now is love. People used lots of words to spread that love with phrases like be the change, choose kind, and black lives matter. Messages intended to bring people together in a time when many feel so far apart. Our community needs love, you know, um, our black community needs love. So if we can spread love with a simple thing of just writing things down, why not? Welcome back to Something Good. First responders have to be ready for anything at the drop of a hat. That was on full display in Roanoke, Virginia, not too long ago. A call came in about a man who was unresponsive, and that's when a deputy went into motion. And he didn't just help, he saved a life. Here's WSLS's Lindsay Ward. She said my body was locked up and I was seizing and then fell over right there and that's where I lay. Just two weeks ago, a quiet Saturday morning doing yard work with his wife turned into a day that Robert Forsman would actually never remember. I don't remember going outside. Um, and honestly, the next time I woke up was Monday afternoon. Everything he now knows, his wife has since told him, including who was first to arrive at their house after he collapsed and she called 911. So the first thing that came to mind is just trying to get there as fast as possible. Deputy Daniel Trout was eight minutes away at the Sheriff's Department, but got to Forsman's side in just three. So I saw Mr. Forsman, he was laying face down on the ground, and that's what the call had come out as. When Deputy Trout pulled up to his house, Forsman wasn't just lying face down. He was dead. No pulse, no breathing. I'd left this earth. There was no pain. Deputy Trout started CPR, a critical move. And that's a lot of lots what's going through your mind is just uh, just trying to keep your composure and and try to hold until EMS or, or you can get some help. More help arrived and flew Forsman to Carilion Roanoke Memorial Hospital. Before heading off for vacation, Deputy Trout wanted to check in on Forsman. How are you? I'm good, buddy. How are you? It's good to good to see you. I can't thank you enough oh, for everything. Sir. Yes, sir. I tell you, it was uh, wow. In my opinion, that was the um, kind of the, the moment where I said, okay, this is the true meaning of being a public servant. You were in the right place and everybody was in the right place. I owe him my life. I can't, I can't ever pay him back. There's nothing I can do to repay him. Lord put me at the right place at the right time and I think it's because of him that we're standing here. I still have a lot to accomplish. I have a, a grandbaby coming in December and um, I want to be able to see my grandbaby. Thank, Thank you. you, buddy. I appreciate it. Adding new life to his family while having a new outlook on his own. A hero 
and welcome home. For Sergeant Billy O'Leary, the 27-year veteran police officer was hospitalized for 105 days. What started as the flu at the end of January quickly developed into pneumonia. Eventually, O'Leary was diagnosed with acute respiratory distress syndrome. I got bounced around to several uh, several other hospitals. Five in total. I was in and out a lot. Not knowing if he would survive. I had several, several of those moments. O'Leary says he lost more than 60 pounds and felt lonely and alone because of the restrictions on visitation due to the COVID-19 pandemic. He says the months of messages got him through the tough times. We've always had a strong community. And it's that bond. The friends, family, obviously the support, you know, they kind of tricked me coming over the bridge. That welcomed O'Leary home. It is long coming. Loved ones. Today means a lot to me. Can't wait to have him home. It's been a long road. It's a miracle that he's with us today. It's a privilege to know Mr. O'Leary because he's a fantastic gentleman. And teachers from long ago. He's special to me. And he's special to this community. Back to back surprises. The friends, family, obviously the support, you know, they kind of tricked me. With an escort and a parade. A hometown hero. I'd, I'd like to get back as soon as I can. I'm Fights on. As soon as I get home from work every night, we usually have the news on and the good news comes on. And I enjoy that at the end of my work day. So, um, and I happen to, you know, I thought, well, Amber and them, that's a good thing that they're doing for their neighborhood, that the neighbors seem to enjoy it. I haven't been able to go over and see them for, I guess, about three months now. But um, she posts every day on Facebook and sends me pictures of, uh, what they've put out on their sidewalk. Our neighborhood group on Facebook had talked about different ways to entertain the kids while we're all stuck <laughs> home. They'd also mentioned um, drawing pictures on the sidewalks, which is something that I knew we could do as a family. Yeah. And so uh, we went out and, and started uh, putting some art on a, the end of our driveway so that as people walked by, they could uh, view it and, and maybe enjoy it. They would compliment the artwork. Um, and then they started looking forward to it. If it rained and I didn't put down any new work, they would ask, are you okay? You know, you're still gonna do this. Whenever we first started, we would both go out there and just draw whatever. In fact, I believe the first one that we did was an Alice in Wonderland chalk art. And so after we did that, people really enjoyed it. So we started doing more and more and more. Well, I was posting on my Facebook page some of the pictures that we had drawn. People really liked them, but I had noted that I was running out of chalk. So then I started getting surprises at my doorstep. My neighbors would leave boxes of chalk for me. This is a hard time for people. Um, so I really enjoy just sharing something nice, uh, something that is not in their typical news feed, um, so that they can maybe stop to appreciate the, the little things that are good going on. and Samantha Sacra, athletes, AP scholars, and valedictorians at Eisenhower High School in Shelby Township. There's something about having a twin that helps a person dig deep. It gave a little bit of competition, family competition, um, kind of to push me to do better. A theme that Eamon and Liam Mott recognize, twin valedictorians at Brother Rice. Ever since we were little, it was kind of, we always, you know, tried to out, uh, out beat each other, you know, I compete the other one. And there's Annika and Anusha Takamula, twin valedictorians at Port Huron Northern. You always know that the person next to you is working harder, so you have to hold yourself accountable. 
The next challenge these three sets of twins face is going off to college. One away. Ice creams are coming. They're not throwing newspapers. It'll be here soon. But Marty and Dee Pazella are sharing some good news. Two chocolate sundaes with chocolate ice cream. We just need to get outside and socialize, but, you know, keep within the distancing rules. And They're the ones behind bringing this ice cream truck through their otherwise quiet neighborhood here on Flint Loop. Have a little bit of fun. Ah! As Gloria Gaynor belts in the background, Tony Perry and his wife Susan have a reason for dancing in the street. We were talking with Tony the day before he got sick. We were Tony right just beat COVID-19. I started uh, with the fever. I don't know how I could have made it without the nurses at the hospital and without this group of people. Now that he's better and cleared by doctors, no mask can shield Tony Perry's smile. Oh, I feel great. You know, I would like to say I'm back to 100%. A starved community wanting nothing more. We're happy to have him home. Expecting nothing less. I think it's a miracle. I really do. Who, who has neighbors like this? It's just, it's unreal. Now, Lori Plata found a way to bring HEB to her daughter. The little one loves going grocery shopping, but didn't like the fact that she couldn't go the last several months because of the coronavirus. And out of precaution, mom kept her home. So mom bought a toy supermarket online and took out her scissors, laminating sheets, and printer to create Aria's HEB store. How adorable is this? Everything looks exactly like an HEB checkout lane. The at-home checkout lane includes HEB coupons, gift cards, a shelf with food, and other items. Aria even has a name tag and was most recently the employee of the month. They think I'm nuts, and it's amazing. <laughs> I am. It's our two biggest days to save at Ashley Home Store. This Saturday and Sunday, pay no interest for five years with no minimum purchase and no money down. Or save 25% off store-wide. Book an in-store or virtual appointment today. Only at Ashley Home Store. This is home. America, we want to help get you back to it. And here's how. With the Ford Promise. Visit your Ford dealer. Finance a new, certified, pre-owned, or used vehicle through Ford Credit. And if you lose your job, you can return it for up to one year from the day you bought it. You can also get 0% APR financing for 72 months across the Ford lineup. Let us help get you back to it. That's 0% financing for 72 months available across the Ford lineup. Contact your Best in Texas Ford dealer today. Breastfeeding. Even though it's a natural thing, it's not an easy thing. And it was so heartbreaking. She would pull her head back and just cry and cry and suck in a bunch of air. And so I called the WIC office. They were like so amazing. Wick taught me some tips so that she could get a better latch, and that was a game changer. Breastfeeding, the absolute best thing. Don't give up. Call Cool Mark Heating and Air and get into a train 15th tier high efficiency system for just $59.98 with a 10 year parts and labor. You can also qualify for a CPS energy rebate or a 14th tier train starting at $49.98 with a 5 year labor and 10 year parts. Both come with 0% financing. A train 15th tier high efficiency system for just $59.98 or a 14th tier train starting at $49.98. The summer is here, so call Cool Mark today at 708 6159. Has your roof suffered extensive damage from the recent storms? Let the certified experts at Radiant Roofing get your home back in order. Call today and we'll give your home's roof an inspection and give you an estimate free of charge. Offering unprecedented 50-year labor and materials warranties and 0% financing for 12 months. With Radiant Roofing, you're guaranteed quality, honesty, and integrity. Call the experts at Radiant Roofing today. We'll keep the roof over your head. Going on now at Ashley Home Store. Pay no interest for six years on top bedding brands. Shop best-selling Tempur-Pedics that are in stock and ready for delivery. Only at the number one Tempur-Pedic retailer in North America. Ashley Home Store. This is home. 
after being hooked up to machines and in a coma, Julietta finally got to hug her family and come home on Monday. I got to be back home. I got to come home yesterday and see my family, my dog, and just sleep in my own bed. But when she arrived... They all welcomed me home yesterday, which was amazing. So they've, they've been amazing. A social distance parade. They all stood outside of my neighborhood and held posters while I drove by. It just made my heart feel really warm to see all the people that care about me and that I care about seeing them after all of this. And it was so beautiful. It made me cry. Um, as you see, we have a fun time decorating all of our signs. Last one in is a rotten egg. Erin Mahaffey's heart seems to grow with every person and animal she helps. This mother of five runs a nonprofit animal sanctuary out of her home. We are called the Mahaffey Funny Farm for a reason. On this very special patch of land, she offers a second chance to many species. All of our animals have a story. And I think that's what makes this place so special too, is many of these animals were always loved. It was not a situation that the owners did not want them. Most of Aaron's animals come from homes where the owners, for one reason or another, couldn't continue to care for them. Elvis, come here. Bandit, snack time. Like this pair of pigs taken in from a couple when the husband had to become the primary caregiver for his wife. So here is Elvis. He is kind of our mascot. This is the most social, sweetest pig you could ever imagine. Aaron's collection of rescued critters includes small species that will be up for adoption. On the larger side, she's bought alpacas and given a home to miniature horses and goats. Um, this is Buddy and Benny. These goats are like toddlers. They love slides, climbing. The animals seem to know they're in good hands. This is Kiwi. They all get along so well. They're friendly, although not always understanding of personal space. So how does Aaron handle it all? with a smile. Just try to find those little bits of humor. During this time of social distancing, she spreads her love of laughter on social media. Every Friday, I try to do a photo recreation, and it is the most ridiculous thing that I have a blast doing. If it makes somebody else laugh, that brings me joy. You know, the last one, um, I was in overalls, dressed up like a man, and holding Kankles, my rescue chicken. Kankles, the lone survivor from a shipment of chicks that was supposed to arrive at a feed store, but ended up sitting in a warehouse. Around the clock, 24 hours, with syringe feeding this tiny little baby. I actually wore it like a human baby. <laughs> and it's turned into this pretty thing. Word has gotten out about Aaron's sanctuary. Every single day, I am getting tagged in things, and I'm kind of at my capacity now, because uh, we are, for the most part, financing this all on our own, and I never want to get in over my head. Erin's kids often snap her social media pics, and her husband, well, he fully supports her ideas, too. He loves me. <laughs> Here are some of my friends. And the people who follow the Mahaffey Funny Farm oh love getting an up-close look at their animal adventures. They think I'm nuts. And it's amazing. <laughs> I am. Look at your little mustache. Look at your little mustache you got going on. This is a safari pandemic style. Not with wild animals. Hi but with horses. They can come, they don't have to get out of the car, it's no contact, but they can drive through these beautiful pastures, see the beautiful horses, and get to say hello and do something positive in the community to give back. And are your kids having a good time? They're having a great time. Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> yes. yes. It's so much fun. <laughs> Candace Kendrick drove through twice. Well, we just wanted to get out of the house and um, come check out the horses and everything today. It takes about 15 minutes to drive through to see the horses and the ponies. Donations help Healing Strides, which lost several fundraisers and classes for 200 or so people when they closed on March 19th, a big kick to their budget and a loss for people helped by horse therapy. It's very, very close to my heart. Our granddaughter rides here, and everyone here is just so caring. 
Um, we miss the horses, we miss the facility, and it's just, it's a wonderful place that's good for your heart. We need to give people hope. There is hope at the end of all of this, and we will get back to some kind of normal. And when people come out and are able to see the beautiful horses and see this beautiful place, we know, let them know that they're still good in the world. We could bring the Jacksonville community together and so we could like have a fun event for everyone to attend and we could raise money for charity. This Bulls student and his friend coming up with a win-win, a pop-up drive-in movie theater at a local mall as a fun fundraiser during the pandemic. About two months ago, I just started emailing a bunch of people on the city council and finally one of them got back to me. He steered the enterprising student in the right direction to make the movie night a success. Telling me who to contact, like what people at Wolfson's to talk to, what production companies for the screen. And turning it into a thank you for the healthcare workers at Wolfson. The fact that they're helping children, um, sometimes free of cost, just because like their families couldn't afford it, I think that's like super important, especially now. He and his friend are members of their school's Wolfson Children's Hospital Club. He loves the hospital's mission, especially during the pandemic. Barring any weather issues, the group plans to show Back to the Future to about 60 people who donated nearly $800 to the hospital for this first at the markets at Town Center. He's hoping to make it a regular event over the summer and show movies every weekend until movie theaters reopen. I think this would be a fun event, so we're like, People can bring their families too, and also like you can watch a movie. Like there's none of the movie theaters are open right now, so it'll be a fun experience. A thief struck. My aunt messaged me and said that my grandfather's bike was stolen. The family quickly flooded social media for help finding it. Flatten. I'm CTO and owner of CT Integrations, and this is our story. Business was great. When the pandemic hit, we had a lot of uncertainty, but uh, with AMG's support, we were able to get through it. Being able to help somebody come out of a crisis is truly gratifying. We saved jobs. 15 jobs saved with their families, and that impacts a whole lot of people. We are really lucky and blessed to, to have that relationship. Ingram Park CJDR is open and clearing the lot. Clearing the lot during the 2020 Summer Clearance Event. Get 8,000 off the MSRP on the new 2020 Jeep Gladiator, one of Auto Trader's best new cars of 2020, or get $12,000 off the MSRP on the new 2020 Ram 1500 from the best truck brand of 2020, all with 0.9% financing for 84 months, plus no payments until 2021. Visit our showroom today. Our store is deep cleaned and sanitized daily for your safety. Ingram Park CJ.net. Did your roof suffer extensive damage from the recent storms? Restore your home with only the best, with the experts at Cresta Roofing. With over 40 years of roofing expertise in San Antonio, we ensure your homes are taken care of for years to come. We'll work with your insurance company and we'll work safely with you during the process. Our inspections are free of charge and we also offer an unprecedented 50 year warranty on our materials. Call the experts at Cresta Roofing today. When you choose Cresta, you choose excellence.
Clark got his first set of bagpipes earlier this year. Little did he know how that timing would be perfect. The freshman at Marysville High School heard about a bagpiper in Tennessee taking his music outdoors. So I thought it'd be a good idea to do it here. So I went and did it. I didn't realize that it would have as huge of a reaction as it did. Requests started coming in from all over his hometown. I'm seeing smiles on everybody's faces because in this time right now, it's nice to see that somebody is trying to keep everybody's morale up. And music is just a way to keep happiness. Word spread fast about Wyatt's outdoor concerts. He accepted every invitation and arrived in his kilt ready to perform. With what I do, I can keep everybody happy, no matter how they're feeling. Uh, just play some music and you'll be going on with your day. It's a nice feeling to know that people can, even though they're apart, they can come together for something. They can come together for a common cause, whether it be to record or just to listen. I've been to a lot of places where everybody just comes out and listens. That's all they want to hear. They just want to see people doing something to make others happy. Spreading joy and a little bit of healing along the way. If you're just tired and down, you can listen to upbeat music and that'll rejuvenate you. Yes, we are all in lockdown. Yes, we are all have to stay home. But that doesn't mean we still can't be, we can't be happy. Every day. At 91 years old, Herman Golick still gets his daily exercise. And I've been riding the bike when, when I was in military service. I was stationed at Randolph. In fact, he still makes weekly trips there. I enjoy it. Give me a little exercise. I even go at times to Randolph Air Force Base, the credit union and shopping. He was in the Air Force before it was called the Air Force. His family tells us Golic served 20 years, including World War II and the Korean War. The bike to him is everything. It kind of gives him a little freedom, and he can do it when he wants to do it. But this weekend, a thief struck. My aunt messaged me and said that my grandfather's bike was stolen. The family quickly flooded social media for help finding it. Immediately, I got tons of messages. Luckily, his bike was not far away. A light, nice lady messaged me saying that I think I may have your bike and it happened that somebody had sold it to them. In just hours, Golic and his bike were back in business. Welcome back. <laughs> no, I missed it very much. Thank you for watching Something Good. We're always happy to bring you good news. Yeah, and remember, you can bring the good news to us. Just log on to somethinggood.show and send us your good news story. If you have pictures or video of your story, send those too. We want to see it. And your story might get featured on the next Something Good. For now, have a great day. Stay happy and healthy, and we'll see you next time with more of Something Good. We both ran. I'm going to be honest with you. Her pants are just as good as mine. Thank you, I know.